very good morning to all of you all this is the seventh chapter of your economics book the role of state in economic development first module so people today will be starting off with this chapter before we go into the roles of economic development we need to understand the importance of economic development what is economic development i'm sure this term is not new to you people still i'll like to revise it in order for any community to survive its citizen must have employment opportunities and its government must be able to generate revenue to provide services very obviously the government needs to take care of the revenues and economic development works to retain the grow jobs and investment with the community only the community will not work there's also the intervention of government into it the role of state into it an example of economic development is when a country begins to produce more products and increase its overall wealth maybe by doing exports so that is one of the basic thing we can also understand economic development as a growth of standard of living of nations people from low income that is poor to high income that is rich when the local quality of life is improved there is automatically an economic development so when social scientists study economic development they look at the lot of things society as a whole it's not just that exports are increasing but also what is the level of society what how are the people there are they bpl into the level or they are having a middle class or everybody is from the high class so these lot of things has to be taken in considerations to tell a uh, economy that it is developed or it is underdeveloped or what is the state of uh, the development now let's talk about economic reforms it refers to the fundamental changes that were launched in long back in 1991 with a plan of liberalizing the economy and to quicken its rate of economic growth the essential features of economic reforms are liberalization privatization and globalization which is commonly known as lpg it's not that lpg gas people it's lpg liberalization privatization and globalization again this term is not new to you people still i'm going to deal with these terms individually along with the examples so these are the economic reforms reforms are the changes let's talk about liberalization liberalization is a process whereby a state lifts the restriction on some private individual activities liberalization occurs when something which used to be banned for so no longer is banned or when government regulations are relaxed that means a company which is having lot of intervention from the government that is relaxed like they are also getting freedom from the government intervention just like that for example the i am giving you the example of the world class uh, european union has liberalized gas and electricity markets instituting a competitive system means competitive system only occurs when two people come together and they work together and they compete but when there is just government there is no competition so liberalization is taking over taking off the power of government the next is privatization the transfer of ownership property or business from government to private sector is termed as privatization as the word itself speaks getting private so uh, whatever the government sector is having they are giving the government sectors to the private ones and that calls privatization the government ceases to be the owner of the industry government is no more the owner and the process in which a publicly traded company is taken over by few people or maybe a group of people privately that is called privatization for example an individual or organization purchases all the stock in the publicly traded company that effects effectively make it private so taking over a company completely by few individuals is called privatization and the last one is globalization globalization again we understand it from the word globalization is a word which used to describe the growing interdependence of world economies uh, by culture population brought uh, about by cross border trade in goods and services technology and flow of investment people information that is cross culture how do we know how do we know the western culture we are getting influenced with the western culture so this is called globalization for example companies have uh, which have mastered globalization are numerous like starbucks lays pepsico kfc mcdonalds hindustan unilever limited ford gillet subway so these brands are not new to you you know these brands these are world class brands you must have heard about the word in sanskrit vasudev kutumbakam this is something which was going global one world one tribe so uh, we have come across this word 
a lot many times if you remember so people this is what is globalization so people have tried to explain you a chapter i have tried to explain you a concept which is already known to you in a better and a broader way so i hope the concept is clear to you please go through the video understand and parallelly read your books for the better understanding wait for the next video thank you so much for your patience bye take care